Today we're at the Icon building in Stevenage. It's a project we're carrying out for Hill. The package of works involves about an eight month project where we take down the superstructure. Uh, we will process the building, get all of the obstructions out of the way and form a pile map for the follow on works for the client. As with all of our projects, we're segregating as much as we can at source safely so we can get that recycling uh, or reuse as high as possible. You can see that there's quite a lot of glass within the building and this will go to waste transfer stations to be separated for reuse. And again with all of our sites now, all of the plant that we are operating is running off HVO. So we're trying to reduce our carbon uh, emissions uh, with the works that we're doing. One of the major challenges when we were planning this project at ICON was that we knew we were smack bang right next to a very busy network rail asset. Um, Hill and Rye have worked in the past um, six months or so to kind of satisfy network rail that nothing we do is going to impact their asset. We've got, as you can see, some dust, noise and vibration monitoring. Um, and that really is just to, it, it's a passive sort of monitoring that we can check periodically and make sure we're not exceeding any trigger levels. And also this, this is a good location at the, the rear. You can see how close we actually come in the future demolition to, to the network rail asset, which is denoted just on the other side of, of the hoarding. At this point, we need to use a suspended screen. So there'll be a crane, contract lift, um, we use a suspended screen really to eliminate any dust travelling uh, onto the railway line but equally we use water suppression um, and we damp down the building as much as we can before the demolition to, to keep that dust uh, from becoming airborne as much as possible. We've had really good communication with Network Rail on this project. Um, you never know what team you're going to get from Network Rail and they're often new people that you haven't formed a relation to, uh, relationship with before. But the guys we're working with, they've actually come down from Birmingham a couple of times, um, they visited site. They're quite supportive of what we're doing. They understand that we are the demolition contractor and we know what we're doing. But, you know, in the, in the same breath, we need to demonstrate to them the checks and balances that we're going through. They were quite interested in the crane, obviously, because it's going to be next to their asset. And there's certain things you do when working next to network rail, you overrate the crane, uh, increase the, the factor of safety. Um, but I think it's been good. You know, we, like I said, they have been very engaging and they've offered feedback. We've, we've tweaked the methodology, we've tweaked the risk assessments, um, and they're quite happy for us to, to crack on with the work now. So work's uh, progressing really well. Uh, we've got another few months left on site and um, we just need to take up the slab, form the power map um, and we can hand the site over back to Hill so they can develop it.